In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an easy way that you can get four-man looping pressure through the A-gap in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I just want to let you know again that we released our defensive guide. Our New York Giants defensive guide is live over on the website. So if you hit the link in the description, there's going to be a link that will take you right to where you can pick it up. If you want to get it, it's the best defense in the game in my personal opinion. This defense is kind of a rising star, I think, in the community. It's going to be coming. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that you can do with this 335 Sam. But I'm actually using a lot of the concepts out of the 335 odd, which is in the New York Giants playbook, as well as the 2 for 5 double A gap, 335 wide, dime 146, big nickel, 3 4 bear, pretty much all the meta formations that you could possibly want in one playbook out of the New York Giants. So, that being said, uh, I want to dive into today's video and I want to share with you this crossfire three seams. What we're going to do is we're going to flip the play, make sure that you turn auto flip off in your coaching adjustments or in your game options. That's going to help with the pressure. And this is honestly one of my favorite defenses right now against Gun Bunch because the cool part about 335 Sam that you're not able to have in 335 Odd is you have cover four quarters, you have match coverages that you can run. So that being said, let's dive into Crossfire 3 Sam. So what we're going to do is we are going to pinch our entire defense just like this right here. Um, if you don't want to pinch your defense, like if you don't want to press coverage, um, then what you can do is you can just simply pinch your defensive line and pinch your linebackers. That will be just fine. So all I have like to do is bring both safeties down. Now this safety right here is kind of the key player in this blitz. So we're going to crash our defensive line to the left side. And then we're going to take the middle linebacker that is on the right. So that's Levante David. And we're going to put him in anything over to the bunch side. So um, what, you could put him in a yellow zone. Um, which is one of my favorites to play just purple and yellow and then put the quarter right here for the verticals play I find this to be the most effective coverage right now against gun bunch this right here Obviously the corner routes are open and that's really what your user is going to go do So anyways, that's the setup from a coverage perspective and then what we can do is we can zone off this um, Defensive end on the left so he's going to take the running back routes things like table routes things like um, curl routes, out routes, stuff like that. He's going to go get that as long as you pass commit. Okay? So you see this is what the blitz looks like. Now, take a look at this blitzing angle here from the safety. This is actually really critical to the blitz. What you want to do is you want to get him basically to blitz into the guard or the center. So you see here he's blitzing to the opposite side. That's not going to work. Okay? We want him to be over right here. And the best trick that I know is basically you want him to be right behind the left side linebacker just a little bit to the left side and what you're going to see is you're just going to run down at the snap of the ball and you're going to get either defensive tackle a gap pressure or you're going to get linebacker a gap pressure so as you saw right there that was the defensive tackle linebacker pressure let me show you this blitz again i'm going to set it up a little bit quicker this time and one of the things you have to really make sure that you're doing is slanting that line sometimes you might have to do that a couple of times to get this to come in Snap the ball, and right there, I think I messed up. I don't know what I did wrong. I think my crash did register. That's about in 22 right now. It's for whatever reason the crashes don't register like they should. So let me show you again. So I'm crashing my line. Uh, you want to crash again? You want to crash them to the left? So again, I'm right here, and then I'm just going to run down and then move around. And as you see, we get defensive tackle a gap pressure. So you're going to find that you're going to get a lot of A-gap pressure from your defensive tackle with this setup. You will either get the A-gap or the loop uh, nine times out of ten. This is actually a really consistent pressure. Um, and what I like about it is, again, we have fairly decent coverage, about as good of coverage as you could want uh, in Madden 22 right now. We're able to get pressure sending only four people um, at the line of scrimmage. We've got two yellow zones, two purples, and then three deep coverage. You can't be necessarily too mad at that pressure um, in any way right there. I think my crash didn't register. But anyways, you kind of see the concept um, that we're doing. Now, one little thing that I really want to point out really, really quickly here is, um, and this is why I like to put that linebacker on a yellow zone, is because when you run down with your user, ideally you want to run down into the left. So you're basically going to kind of occupy the guard and the tackle with your user so you see you're down to the left and you see we're getting that dta gap we got nano detected right there 
But as you can see, the defense, one of those three guys in the middle are typically going to come uh, completely free at the quarterback as long as you go down into the left. And I find that it's better actually um, with this defense if your user is a little bit more off of the field. You don't want him to be like right up in the gap, at least my opinion, um, because it really messes with the blitz angles this year. Um, this is just for this specific blitz. Other blitzes you would. But anyways, you'll see right here just come down and around, and there you see that A-gap coming right through the middle of the defense. So this is a really fun defense. If you like concepts like this and you want to see more videos uh, like this, I'd encourage you to hit subscribe. If you want to get an entire defense that I designed at the beginning of Madden 22 launch um, that is really, really screaming pressure, similar to this, but honestly probably a little bit better and a little bit more consistent, you can get my nickel 335 odd defensive guide in the description. You can get that just for 15 bucks. Like I said, this a gap pressure, you're only sitting four people. Obviously, if you wanted it to be a little bit more consistent, all you need to do is just blitz that, that defensive in on the left. Now, the problem with that is you're going to notice that, you know, the pressure is going to be really consistent and really good uh, from an a gap perspective, but you lose that flat zone coverage which in my opinion is actually really important. Um, so like I said, you know, bring this guy down. If you wanted to, if you still wanted to get that look of pressure, um, you could take this guy and basically bring him over here like this. And again, just stack him kind of like right off of the, off of the, uh, the left side. Now what you'd be able to do is you've got a flat zone on that, on that side. You've also got extra blitzers, but you know, in my opinion, it's best to use the safety because as you saw, the user alignment just can kind of sometimes be a little finicky and a little tricky with this blitz. Um, but anyways, this is a fun little blitz and it's really a passive blitz. It's, it's four man pressure. It's great run defense. You're going to have phenomenal run defense. If they try to run, you're going to be perfectly situated. Um, but as you can see, a gap pressure screaming right through the middle. And honestly, I would tell you this, if, as you're labbing this, go ahead and make sure that you're um, testing out different things. Obviously, we're in the beginning of the game, so a lot of the concepts are still being developed from a from a blitzing perspective. So the reason I'm saying that is you might find that if you stand like right here, you're going to get more consistent pressure. You might find if you stand more back, you're going to, you know, so kind of mess around with that. But what I found with this blitz, I've been testing this out for about uh, two hours this morning. But what I've found with this concept is I think that it's going to work best if this guy's a little bit more back. Uh, I don't think him being super close is really effective for your coverage uh, or for your pressure. I think the, the the delay, the delay, the blitz from depth type of thing is something that Madden 22 has definitely in, added into their system this year. So that might be something for you as well. You know, you might say, okay, well, I'm going to blitz from depth, right? I'm going to blitz from depth, come down like this. And as you can see right there, our DT got caught up a little bit. But, I mean, you see, it's just four-man pressure. Um, you know, in-game, I would tell you that it's going to work a little bit better. I've tested this out in-game. It is a little bit more consistent. And the reason why it's more consistent in-game is because practice mode has uh, a feature where it basically if you run the same thing over and over again, they're going to kind of pick up on it. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. But anyways, um, that's the pressure. That's the concept. So I would encourage you to test it out. I think this is one of the more... Um, unique defensive plays in the game the more unique types of pressure most people are just going to be sending edge pressure which can easily be picked up with the blocked running back or you know something it's, it's actually not that hard to pick up pressure but this one what I like about this one is you're getting it right down the middle uh, which I think is really good and you're only sending four people you're only sending four people uh, one of the things I think I'm doing wrong here is I think my crashes aren't really registering but anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to get my defensive guide, it's in the description. Um, you can get that for just 15 bucks. I think it's the best defense in the entire game this year. Um, it's just super, super effective. And there you see, there's the A-gap. One other thing that you'll find with this blitz, real quick, last little tip with this blitz, is whenever you're running this, one of the things that you're going to find to be true is, again, when you blitz from depth like this, it allows you to to kind of stay running down because you're not you're not having to drift into coverage yet. You can just stay running down. So you've got a yellow zone there. Obviously, your zone is really for like a drag route or something. But you're gonna run down and then out. And as you see, if you run down a little bit longer, 
you see that that a gap is coming right down the middle so that's just a little pro tip with this blitz i would encourage you to test it out for yourself let me know what you think in the comments and if you want to get my new york giants defensive guide i think it sends the best pressure in the game and it's got some of the same concepts we talked about in this video as well as several other ones so it's a really fun little defense to run i'd encourage you to check it out it's in the description you can get that for just 15 bucks and also some of you have been asked you know are you going to update it or how's it going to work i'm going to update that defense if a new patch comes out that changes things so any patch that changes the defense and how it was, is to be played i will update the defense for you you'll always have the most up-to-date version of that concept of those concepts so thanks for your time if you want to get that defense it's just 15 bucks and there's a link in the description that you can click that'll take you right to the website and get you all squared away